Hello everybody, it is HG Vampiric, or on Twitch, I'm Vampiric Warrior, and today we are going to be talking about this, the Ixalan Deck Builders Toolkit. Now, a couple of things about this, um, I already opened it, went through the cards, got my rares, got it in my binder. Um, so, also, as I said on my stream the other day, I issued a challenge to Kamada Hobo. And we are going to be building a deck from this. So, what is the toolkit? It's uh, compiled of 285 random cards. Um, they give you uh, 125 uh, semi-randomized cards. Um, four packs from the recent standard sets. 100 basic lands. Um, a deck builder's guide to building the best magic decks. It's more like a how-to, basically, uh, for anybody that's new. Um, a magic quick reference card and a reusable box for storage. Um, so, let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, um, so, I, I'm back. I went ahead and took the time to separate the cards, colors, creatures, instant sorcery. Well, not instant sorceries, but, uh, there together, I got artifacts, I got the lands, everything's set up and neat. Um, so, if you guys are ready, we can go ahead and check them out, see what we get. Are you ready? It is time. Alright guys, um, so we're going to start with white. Uh, white creatures. Alright, so, this is Duskborn Sky Marcher. One drop, one one vampire cleric flying. Pay one white. Target va attacking vampire gets plus one plus one until the end of turn. Then we got tassel dromedary, zero four camel, also a one drop, beautiful. Um, Bishop soldier, two two life link. Gotta love vampires, right? Adanto Vanguard, 1-1 one, one Vampire Soldier, as long as Adanto Vanguard is attacking, it gets plus 2, plus 0. Then, you can pay 4 life, and give it indestructible until the end of turn. I like that. Vampires are probably the way I'm, I should go with the deck, but I don't know, man. Them dinosaurs are looking pretty beast. Um, Raptor Companion, 3-1. For a 2-drop, that's actually pretty nice. Turn 2, drop one of them. Um, got a second Raptor Companion. Got a third one. Um, this is Territorial Hammer Skull. 2-3. Whenever it Hammer Skull attacks, tap target creature and opponent controls. See, now that's good. That reminds me of... Oh, what is the card? Master of Diversion. It's a, another excellent card. Um, we did get two of these, so that's, or sorry, three. I don't know, man. Dinosaurs. Alright, so, our next is Inspiring Cleric. When Cleric enters the battlefield, gain four life. Then, we get a, our, I think our first flying dinosaur of this toolkit, Imperial Aerosaur. 3-3 three, three flying, and when it enters the battlefield, another creature you control gets plus one, plus one, and gains flying until the end of turn. And then from our Amonkhet uh, booster pack, we got Sparring Mummy. And that is the white creatures. Guys, so moving on, we go into blue. We're going to kick things off with our one drops, um, Siren Storm Tamer, Siren Pirate Wizard, say that ten times fast. Um, you can pay one blue to sacrifice it, sacrifice it, counter target spell or ability that targets you or a creature you control. Um, they gave us two in this t box, um, that's actually a pretty nice card for a pirate deck. Uh, my buddy's going to love this card. River Sneak, Merfolk Warrior, can't be blocked. And whenever another Merfolk enters the battlefield under your control, 
River Sneak gets plus one, plus one until the end of turn. The um, of Atlantis will take out everyone. <laughs> he loves Merfolks, so I actually built him a Merfolk Wizard deck. It was 40 cards, you know, just to teach him, uh, to refamiliarize him with the rules and how to play and whatnot. Um, so, still with the two drops, we are going into Shaper Apprentice. 2-1. Has uh, Shaper Apprentice has flying as long as you control another Merfolk. Um, that's actually a pretty decent card since you're going to be probably running uh, tribal blue green Merfolks or blue Merfolks. You know, um, currently right now it's blue green Merfolks for standard. So um, we got three in this toolkit, which is gorgeous. Um, Hecma Sentinels. Uh, whenever you cycle or discard a card, Hecma Sentinels gets plus one, plus one until the end of turn. Um, this is from the Amonkhet set from the pack uh, booster pack that I got in the <clears throat> excuse me the uh, toolkit. Um, I did separate these with from creatures and then instants and sorcerers I put together and enchantments and all that artifacts together. Lands together. I also have the dual uh, tap lands um, as well together. So moving on, we have Scribe of the Mindful. Pay one generic mana. Tap it. Sacrifice Scribe of the Mindful. Return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. That's pretty nice in a control deck. We have Wind Drake. Two two flying from uh, Kaladesh. Sailor of Means. When Sailor of Means enters the battlefield, create a colorless treasure artifact token with tap, sacrifice, a set effect, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Um, unfortunately, we only got one of those because otherwise a uh, pirate deck would have been nice. I think uh, maybe blue-black, perhaps. All right, so moving on to our next merfolk. Of goodness water trap weaver when water trap weaver enters the battlefield tap target creature and opponent controls that creature doesn't untap during its controllers next untap step I like that I like those effects um, I have a uh, oh what is it I think stitched mangler I think is the name it's a three drop uh, in zombies that d pretty much does the same effect and it enters the battlefield tap though it's like a 2-3, so it's not too bad. Um, we got a second Weaver. Experimental Aviator. Human Artificer. 0-3, and when he enters the battlefield, create two 1-1 one, one colorless stop their artifact creature tokens with flying. Um, from Kaladesh, of course. Gotta love them thopters, man. And then... Ooh, we got two left. Alright, so our 5-drop... Another 5-drop, I mean. Windstrider. Just a 3-3 three, three flying merfolk wizard with flash. And then Angler Drake. Um, let's see. <clears throat> when Angler Drake, Angler Drake enters the battlefield, you may return target creature to its owner's hand. And that will be our blue creatures. Alright, so up next we have the black creature cards. Um, we're going to kick things off with Night Market Lookout. Uh, whenever Night Market Lookout becomes tapped, each opponent loses one life and you gain a life. I actually like that card a lot. Oh, the vampires. I love them. Vicious Conquistador. Whenever Vicious Conquistador attacks, each opponent loses a life. Um, that's like Thornbow uh, Archer for elves, basically. Except this one, they lose a life. Um, gifted, a gifted Aetherborn, gorgeous, gorgeous card. One of the one of my favorite vampires, actually. Two three death touch with life link. I know when Kaladesh was uh, introduced and everybody started using standard, uh, that was one of the top cards. One of them. I mean, 2-3, lifelink, death touch, you just can't pass it. And it's 2-drop, two 2-black two for it, gorgeous. 
All right, so we, next up we have Kite Sail Freebooter. When Kite Sail Freebooter enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose a non-creature, non-lane card from it, exile that card until Kite Sail Freebooter leaves the battlefield. That's actually pretty nice. I like that. Dire Fleet Hoarder. When Dire Fleet Hoarder dies, create a colorless treasure artifact token with tap. Sacrifice this artifact, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. So pirates are all about treasure, so they're going to be creating those. Uh, usually through death or other means. It's pirates, you never know. Uh, Desperate Castaways. Uh, Desperate Castaways can't attack unless you control an artifact. So, that should be interesting if you're playing a blue-black or black-red or blue-red. Or even all three um, colors of choice for pirates. So, next up we have Ruthless Knave. One black, two color, two generic. Uh, sacrifice a creature, create two colorless treasure artifact tokens with sacked. Sacrifice this artifact, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Then you, then you can sacrifice three treasures to draw a card. That is a nice pirate right there. Okay, so then we got Sky March Bloodletter. Um, 2 2 flying. When Sky March Bloodletter enters the battlefield, target opponent loses a life and you gain one life. And then we got Aetherborn Marauder. 2-2 two, two, Flying Lifelink. When Aetherborn Marauder enters the battlefield, move any number of plus one plus one counters from other permanents you control onto Aetherborn Marauder. That beautiful card is from Kaladesh. And then we visit Amonkhet. Soul Stinger. Um, when Soul Stinger enters the battlefield, put two minus one minus one counters on target creature you control. Then when Soul Stinger dies, you may put a minus one minus one counter on target creature for each minus one minus one counter on Soul Stinger. Gorgeous. I, I love Amonkhet set. It's just fantastic. Uh, then we move to Bone Picker. Bone Picker costs three less to cast if a creature died this turn. Three, two, flying with death touch. Anointed Dinkin. At the beginning of combat, your of your on your turn, you may have target vampire get plus two plus zero until the end of turn. Um, got a second one of those. I apologize. Three. Um, Bishop of the Bloodstain. Um, when Bishop of the Bloodstain enters the battlefield, target opponent loses one life for each vampire you control. It's gonna be super strong if I build a vampire deck. Um, I do have one in the works. And then last but not least, we got Queen's Agent. Agent. Um, lifelink. And then when Queen's Agent agent enters the battlefield, it, it explores. Um, Explorer is a new mechanic in Ixalan that allows you to reveal the top card of your library. Put that card into your hand if it's a land. Otherwise, put a plus one plus one counter on this creature. Then put the card back or put it into your graveyard. Now that would be awesome for uh, like a zombie deck. Where you, you can basically reanimate stuff from the grave. So for our red creatures we start with Fathom Fleet Fri uh, Firebrand. One red, one generic. Um, Firebrand gets plus one plus zero until the end of the turn. Basically fire breathing. Um, that's more or less what that ability is. Um, Wily Goblin. When Wily Goblin enters the battlefield, create a colorless treasure artifact token with sack. This artifact, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Might use him for my uh, goblin deck, actually. Alright, so now we're moving on to the dinosaurs. Nest Robber. 2 1 with haste. Oops. Um, Raptor Hatchling. With Enrage, a new mechanic for this set. Whenever Raptor Hatchling is dealt damage, create a 3-3 green dinosaur creature token with Trample. Um, so, Enrage, 
you hit it, which will most likely kill it, honestly, but you'll get a 3-3 dinosaur token out of it. Um, it's not too bad. Probably pump it up, keep it alive. Uh, Frenzied Raptor, 4-2 for a 3-drop. That's actually nice. Um, Neff Crop Entangler, Trample, you may exert. Entangler, as it attacks, when you do, it gets plus one, plus two until the end of turn. Brazen Buccaneers. 2-2 two, two with haste. Enters the battlefield. It explores. Um, Wayward Giant with Menace 4-5. That's a beast right there. Um, Charging Monstrosaur. Trample with haste, a 5-5. Five, five. Uh, it's not too bad, actually. That's pretty decent, or really good for, uh, for a 5-drop to have trample and haste. We have two of those gorgeous dinosaurs. Kind of want to make a Jurassic Park deck now <laughs> with just dinosaurs. Uh, Manticore the ga uh, Gauntlet. When Manticore the Gauntlet enters the battlefield, put a minus 1, minus 1 counter on target creature you control. And then Manticore gets to deal 3 damage to target opponent. Sun Crowd Hunters. 5-4 within rage. And when it activates, it deals 3 damage to target opponent. We have 2 of those. And that is it for the red creatures. Alright, so kick things off with green. Uh, we got Kumina's Speaker. Um, has plus one, plus one, as long as you control another merfolk or an island. Merfolk Branch Walker, uh, when it enters the battlefield, you get to explore. Servant of the Conduit, one of the probably best uncommons um, in standard. Uh, enters the battlefield, uh, you get two energy counters, and then you can tap Servant to pay one energy to add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Um, right now, there's... Uh, what is it, Bant Energy? Or no, Teamer. I think it's Teamer Energy and, uh, was it Sultai? I don't know. I gotta re look that up. But I think Teamer is, uh, one of the strongest decks right now in Standard. Um, I know we got two Druid of the Cowls. Um, might have to borrow those for my elves. Bitter Blade Warrior, Excerpt, um, when it attacks, and then it gets plus one, plus zero, and gains death touch till the end of turn. Tishana's Wayfinder, when it enters battlefield, battlefield, it explores. So it could be a potential 3-3. Three, three. Um, Vine Shaper Mystic, enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on each up to two target merfolks you control. I love pumping uh, my creatures up with counters. It's so awesome. Ranging Raptors. With Enrage. And whenever Ranging Raptors is dealt damage, you may search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. We have, I think, two of those? Yep. Ravenous Daggertooth. With Enrage. Um, it gains a lot. Uh, you gain two life, basically. We have I think two of those, yep. At Sokan Archer. Um, when it enters the battlefield, you may have it fight another creature, target creature. Jade Guardian. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on target merfolk you control, and it has hexproof. That's always good to have. Wild Wanderer. Uh, enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. Arborback Stomper, when it enters the battlefield, gain 5 life, and it's a 5-4 Trampler. Spike-tailed Ceratops, can block an additional creature each combat. We got Snapping Sailback. Flash, which is always good. Uh, with Enrage, whenever Snapping Sailback is dealt damage, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on it. Colossal Dreadmaw, 6-6 six, six, Trampler. Beautiful. I'll tell you, I'm really loving these uh, dinosaurs, man. It's awesome that we actually get to experience a new creature type. Um, but we're going to be moving on to the double 
or the multicolored cards. So first up, we have two Deadeye Plunderers, um, our multicolored sorcery, Call to the Feast, create three one one white vampire creature tokens with lifelink. There's the other one. And then Raging Sword Tooth, a gorgeous 5-5 five five with trample. And when he enters the battlefield, he deals one damage to each other creature. That's dominate dominance right there. <laughs> um, Shapers of Nature. Merfolk Shaman. Um for one green, three generic, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. For one blue and two generic, um, remove a plus one plus one counter from a creature you control and you get to draw a card. Um, now I got lucky with this pull. Because I kind of like tokens. They're fun, but it's Avon Wind Guide. Flying, Vigilance, and creature tokens you control have flying and vigilance. And, of course, the mechanic from Amonkhet, Embalm. So it comes back as a zombie. And that is our multicolored creatures. Alright, so up next we are going to be... I'm going to actually put these in order real quick. Get through them. And then um, once I'm done with this, I will discuss this challenge that I have issued. Um, but more on that in a bit. So we are going to start with white. Um, so we got Fragmentize. Strike target artifact or enchantment with converted mana cost four or less. Compulsory rest. Enchanted creature, enchanted creature can't attack or block. And enchanted creature has paid two. Sacrifice this creature, gain two life. Queen's uh, commission. Create two one one white creature or vampire creature tokens with life link. I think we actually got two of those. So. Vampires actually might be a uh, way to go here. I don't know. I like vampires. Um, I know Shadows Over Innistrad and Eldritch Moon has some pretty lovely uh, black and red vampires. Um, Cast Out is our next card with Flash. So we can actually play this on our opponent's turn. Uh, when Cast Out enters the battlefield, exile target non land permanent and opponent controls while until Cast Out leaves the battlefield. Um, it does have cycling, so if you don't have that last mana to pay for it, you know, or to play it, you can at least cycle and hopefully get that fourth land. Um, Spell Pierce, um, I think I have three of these. Um, but basically, counter target non creature spell unless its controller pays. Two for first turn, that's pretty brutal because that's going to make your opponent um, not be able to pay for it really because they're you know it's going to be paying one land. Hopefully, you pay a one drop and then bam. Um, unsummon, um, I've seen this card get reprinted multiple times. Uh, I think the last time that I truly remember pulling it was in a uh, 10th edition. Um, return target creature to its owner's hand. We got two of those, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Revolutionary rebuff. Counter target non artifact spell unless its controller pays two. Then we got dramatic reversal. Now, secretly, I've grown to like this card. Um, untap all non land permanents you control. That's just beautiful to and it's an instant to be able to play this on your opponents you know turn to untap your creatures so you can use them for blockers if you're about to die or something um, I believe this is my might be my second card now of that one so gotta be able to do something with that um, chart a course this is pretty interesting draw two cards and then discard a card unless you attacked with a creature this turn like, I'm sorry, but you can't keep one of those cards unless you've already attacked. But we got two of them, so that's cool. Um, Essence Scatter, counter target creature spell. Um, I just bought two uh, Ixalan packs and an Amonkhet. 
and I managed to pull another essence scatter, so that's cool. So now I have three. Um, Siren's Ruse, exile target creature you control, then return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control. If a pirate was exiled this way, you get the draw card. So you can pull some explore mechanics with that, or utilize the explore mechanic if you're trying to pump up a creature or what else. Um, Perilous Voyage, return target non-land permanent you don't control to its owner's hand. If it's converted mana cost was two or less, you get to scry two. I like that. Um, I pulled another one of these enchantments as well today. Uh, Deep Root Waters, when you cast a merfolk spell, create a 1-1 one, one blue merfolk creature token with hexproof. Then Supreme Will, choose one, counter target spell unless it's controller pays three. Or you can look at the top four cards of your library, put one of them into your hand and the rest at the bottom of your library in any order. And of course, I believe that is, um, well it's from Hour of Devastation, but uh, I believe that is Nicol Bolas might be one of his uh, minions <clears throat> all right so then we move on to pirates prize draw two cards create a colorless treasure artifact uh, got two of those I believe in this um, run around put target artifact or creature on top of its owner's library basically an unsummon except it goes to the top of the library and not to the hand. Uh, Doomfall. Choose one. Target opponent exiles a creature he or she controls. Target opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose a non-land card from it. Exile that card. Then we got Walk the Plank. Destroy target non-merfolk creature. Supernatural Stamina. Till the end of turn, target creature gets plus two plus zero and gains. When this creature dies, return it to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control. And then probably one of card I've never really had before. Um, duress. Target opponent reveals his or her hand, choose a non-creature non-land card from it. That player discards that card. Um, I do have that in my Nath EDH deck. We got Scarab Feast, exile up to three target cards from a single graveyard, and for one black you can cycle it to draw a card. Cartouche of Ambition, enchant creature you control. When Cartouche of Ambition enters the battlefield, you may put a minus one minus one counter on target creature. Enchanted creature gets plus one plus one and has life link. Heartless Pillage. Target opponent discards two cards and raid. If you attacked with a creature this turn, create a colorless treasure artifact token. It's pretty badass, actually. I like the. I think I might like raid for my aggro decks. Uh, spreading Rot. Destroy target land. Its controller loses two life. It's kind of pricey, though. Five drop. And then Contract Killing. Destroy target creature, and then you can create two treasure artifact tokens. I believe I have three of these beautiful things. Oops. Alright, so moving on to red. Now, this is a card I know extremely well. Um, I have a playset, I believe, of this card from 10th edition. And that is Shock. Deal two damage to target creature or player. Um, I have a foil one of these in my binder uh, when this fir set first came, or when Kaladesh first came out. Um, I managed to pull a foil one, so that was cool. I like the reprint uh, art on it as well. Um, lightning, lightning Strike. Deal 3 damage to target creature or player. Never had this card before either, um, so that's kind of cool that I pulled one. Um, a Braid. Now this card's really, really good. Deal 3 damage to target creature, or destroy target artifact. Now that's pretty wicked for a 2 drop instant. Um, Chandra's Pyro Helix. 
Deal two damage, divide as you choose among one or two target creatures and or players. Pretty, uh, this card right here would be good for the, the Enrage ability. And then we got Sure Strike. Target creature gets plus three, plus zero, and gains first strike until the end of turn. Makeshift Munitions. Um, for one generic uh, mana, sacrifice an artifact or creature. Makeshift Munitions deals one damage to target creature or player. Then we have Swashbuckling. Um, basically, enchant creature gets plus two, plus two, and haste, and has haste. We get pursue glory. God, I love this art. It's so gorgeous. This is why I love magic together in the most. I think their artists are the hand down most talented ever. You can tell that it's really thought out. I just love it. Plus all the colors and stuff. Um, attacking creatures get plus two, plus zero until the end of turn, and has cycling. Um, blooming or blossoming defense. Target creature you control gets plus two, plus two, and gains hex proof until the end of turn. Prey upon target creature you control fights target creature you don't control. Sixth sense enchant creature enchanted creature has. Whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. Um, this card right here would be really, really good on River Sneak, since it can't be blocked. So that's a possibility of a neat combo right there. Uh, Dissenter's Deliverance, destroy target artifact. One green for cycling. Um, River Herald's Boon. Put a plus one plus one counter on target creature and a plus one plus one counter on up to one target merfolk. Savage Stomp. Savage Stomp costs two less um, to cast if it targets a dinosaur you control. Put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control, then that creature fights target creature you don't control. Benefaction to Ronus. Reveal the top five cards of your library. You may put a creature card and or enchantment card from among them into your hand. Put the rest into the graveyard. Good for a delirium deck, if anybody's interested. Then we get New Horizons. Um, it's kind of true, though, with this set. Anyways, uh, Enchant Land. When New Horizons enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. Enchanted Land has add to, tap, add two mana of any color of to your mana pool. And then our last card is Hunt the Weak. Because why not? You're playing dinosaurs and everything's weaker than you. Um, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. Then that creature fights target creature you, you don't control. So it's like an upgraded Prey Upon, basically. You just get to add a... Alright, now moving on to artifacts. Uh, honed Kopesh. Enchanted creature, or equipped creature gets plus one, plus one. I'm thinking of enchantments now. Um, prophetic Prism. When there's a the battlefield, draw a card, and then one tap, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Uh, Torch Gauntlet. En equipped creature gets plus two, plus zero. Cobbled Wings. Equipped creature has flying. Harrowfence Chalice, um, good in a vampire deck. Uh, enters the battlefield, target opponent loses one life, you gain a life. Um, tap to add one colorless mana. Unfortunately, we only get, got one of those. Um, Pirate's Cutlass, when it enters the battlefield, attach it to target pirate you control. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus one. Um, this is kind of cool, they gave us three of those. Um... Kefnet's Monument. Now this one I was actually happy to pull because um, I have it on Magic Duels and it's just fantastic. I love it. Blue creature spells you cast cost one less and then whenever you cast a creature spell, target creature an opponent controls doesn't untap during its controller's next un untap step. Um, they have one for each color. I would love to have them. 
Uh, but yeah, I was super excited when I got this card because that actually made me think of making a blue-green uh, Merfolk deck. Um, Sky Skiff, I got plenty of these from the Kaladesh Toolkit, so it's nothing new for me right there. Um, this one is pretty new though, Sleek Schooner, Crew 1, and it's a 3-drop with a 4-3. That is insane. Look at that. That is a gorgeous art though, but that's pretty cheap for a crew ability. Alright, so moving on, we are going to be checking out just the regular old lands. Nothing spectacular. We got Sun Scorched uh, Desert. Enters the battlefield, deal one damage to target player. Um, and four copies of Evolving Wilds and then Unknown Shores. There's another land in here, um, but I took it out. I totally just remembered this, but I took it out and... I have it in my Nath EDH deck. So, and of course, they give you two of the Enter the Battlefield tap lands. Tranquil Expands, Meandering uh, River, Woodland Stream, Forgotten, Forsaken Sanctuary, Highland Lake. There's my other Sanctuary. Um, Foul Orchard, Stone Quarry, Submerged Boneyard. Cinder Barrens, and then Timber Gorge. And then, of course, you get a hundred land. Um, I got them all separated now by type. But, yeah, it's just, you know, it's a deck builder's toolkit. Um, if you're starting out, it's actually a great way to start your collection. And then you can go from there. Um, I actually bought multiple of these toolkits because I didn't have any. Uh, I didn't have much of a collection, so this is where I pretty much got my collection started. Um, they're 20 bucks, you know, 285 cards. Totally worth it. They give you 100 base, you know, basic lands and some Enter the Battlefield tap lands, and you just all around very, very good. So, but I'm actually going to go get my rares, and oh, this should be interesting. All right, so my rares. Uh, apologize about the noise. Um, I'm at my buddy's house recording this. Um, this is Territorial Gorger from Kaladesh. Uh, whenever you get one or more energy counters, uh, Gorger gets plus two, plus two until the end of turn. Um, this is a pretty badass card in an energy deck. Um, I may have to use this at some point. So I'm in Ket. They have uh, Aftermath cards. Um, this is Failure to Comply. This is one of them. First you cast Failure, return target spell to its owner's hand, and then from the graveyard you can um, cast Comply for one white. That's pretty wicked, actually. Choose a card name until your next turn. Your opponent can't cast spells with the chosen name. And then you exile this from the graveyard. Um, that's pretty wicked. Alright, so next up we got the Ixalan set. Um, this is a uh, Legion's Landing, legendary enchantment. I was super excited when I uh, opened the pack to reveal this card. Um, so when it enters the battlefield, create a one-one vampire creature token with lifelink, and then when you attack with three or more creatures, you can transform it, and it transforms into the gorgeous Adanto, the first fort. Legendary land. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Uh, allows you to pay one white, two generic, tap, create a 1-1 one, one white vampire creature token with lifelink. That is fantastic. Um, and of course, you guys know I love vampires. So to pull this gorgeous card, Vona, Butcher of Megan. Is it Megan? McGann or I don't know Megan I think is the name for it who knows but she's uh, I believe it's a she um, but it's a legendary creature vampire knight vigilance lifelink tap play pay seven life destroy target non-land permanent activate this ability only during your turn so that is insane I am 
super happy I pulled this card. I flipped out. I literally did. Jay was like, what's going on? <laughs> um, so yeah, our, that is the Deck Builders Toolkit. So I suggest everybody, if you're new to Magic and you want to start somewhere, uh, no, everybody will tell you that your local game store is the best play to, uh, best place to go. Um, and it is. It really is. But if you don't go to one, um, say you go to Walmart, which is fine, um, do check out the Deck Builders Toolkits. Um, like it, it's just 20 bucks, and it's something to start off with. I recommend it. All right, guys, so now... Um, I'm going to, I promised you guys that I would do a quick deck tech of two cards um, that I put in a poll and I will say that the human and Boros deck won. So let's get started. This is my Boros deck. Um, it's 40 cards. I designed this to basically teach people how to play. They're interested. Um, so first things first. We have Fire Strike, Fire Fist Striker, with Battalion. Uh, whenever it attacks, and at least two other creatures attack, target creature can't block this turn. It's a two-one, two-drop. Um, this deck was designed to do simple uh, combos, you know, little combat tricks, nothing too crazy or anything. So, Terramorphic Expanse. You can sacrifice it. Search for land. Uh, mountains. It is Boros color, so it's red and white. Uh, Avon Squire. Um, two drop, one one, flyer with exalted. Uh, whenever a creature you control attacks alone, this creature gets plus one plus one until the end of turn. Um, Sun Home Guild Mage. Creatures you control get plus one plus zero till the end of turn, and then. Uh, that's one white, one red, and one generic. Uh, for one white, one red, two generic, put a one one red white soldier creature token in with haste onto the battlefield. Uh, this is more or less like a soldier deck type thing. I got Thunder Strike. Target creature gets plus two, plus zero, until and gains first strike until the end of turn. Alright, next up is Guardians of Acracia. 0-4 Defender with Exalted. Got Planes. Um, Archetype of Courage. Creatures you control have First Strike, and then creatures your opponent con opponents control lose First Strike and cannot gain, or have or gain First Strike, so that's pretty cool. Uncanny Speed. Target creature gets plus 3, plus 0, and gains haste until the end of turn. Boros Guildgate, Mortals Ardor, Target Creature gets plus one plus one and gains lifelink until the end of turn. Another Terramorphic Expanse, um, Glory Seeker, just a two drop, two two. A Crow and Hoplite. Whenever a Crow and Hoplite attacks, it gets plus X plus zero until the end of turn, where X is the number of attacking creatures you control. It is a one two. A Crow and Crusader with Heroic. Whenever you cast a spell that targets a Crow and Crusader, put a 1-1 one, one red soldier creature token with haste onto the battlefield. Um, Crusader of Oderic. Crusader of Oderic's power and toughness are equal to the number of creatures you control. Another gorgeous Terramorphic Expanse. Mountain. Plains. Another mountain. I'm... This hasn't been shuffled or separated to make this a little easier, so I apologize. Um, this is, uh, I believe, Portal. Um, it's Wrath of God. Put all creatures into their dis or their owner's discard piles. Um, that's my very first ever Wrath of God. Um, we got Calvary Pegasus. When it attacks, uh, each attacking human gains flying until the end of turn. So I threw that in there to. Throw in some fun. Got another mountain. A uh, show of valor. Um, target creature gets plus two, plus four until the end of turn. Um, and here is Master of Diversion. 
Whenever Master of Diversion attacks, tap target creature defending player controls. He's a 2 2. Um, I believe I have like two in the deck. Um, up next is Safe Passage. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to you and creatures you control this turn. Um, there is a gold, little gold mine in this deck. Um, our second Master of Diversion. Guardians of Acretia. Another Plains, a Terramorphic Expanse. I think I got three in the deck. Um, Angelic Benediction. Exalted, and it's an enchantment. Exalted, and whenever a creature you control attacks alone, you may tap target creature. Very, very good. And then here's the gold mine right there. Archangel Avacyn. Or, not Archangel, I wish. Oh my god, I wish. Uh, it's Avacyn, Angel of Hope. Flying Vigilance, 8-8, eight, eight, Legendary Creature. And then Avacyn, Angel of Hope, and other permanents you control are indestructible. That is a gorgeous card. Now the Glory Seeker, and then last but not least, a Skillful Lunge. Target creature gets plus 2, plus 2, and gains first strike until the end of turn. And that is my... Boros aggro deck. Um, like I said, it's just used for teaching purposes only. It's not competitive at all. Alright, so now this is my green-white human deck. Um, just to show off the uh, beautiful Johnny sleeves that I picked up for it. Well, let's see. Can you guys see that? I hope. hope that's not bad. <laughs> so, for this deck, I got it up on uh, deckstats.net and... Pretty cheap for standard deck um, at the time when uh, these were legal. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, Fiend Binder. 3-2, whenever it attacks, tap target creature, defending player controls. We got Captured by the Consulate. Enchanted, cre enchanted creature you don't control, enchanted creature can't attack, and then whenever an opponent casts a spell, if it has a single target, ch uh, change the target to Enchanted Creature if able. We got Intrepid Provisioner. 3-3 three, three Trampler. Um, when it enters the battlefield, another target human you control gets plus 2, plus 2 until the end of turn. Uh, Thraben Inspector. I got four of these. When it enters the battlefield, Investigate. Um, basically creates a colorless clue token um, that you can pay to sacrifice it to draw a card. Got the gorgeous uh, Shadows Over Innistrad Land. Uh, scattered growth, Groves from Amonkhet. Uh, I believe this is my first ever rare from the set. There's my other Thraben Inspector. Got the Plains as well. Um, I went with Steadfast Cathar. Because I like the fact that he becomes a 2-3 whenever he attacks. So he's not easily killed. But to most like burn, cheap burn spells anyways, they can kill him. Uh, Heron's Grace. Champion. 3-3, three, three, Flash, Lifelink, and then when he enters the battlefield, other humans you control gets plus 1, plus 1, and, gain, and they gain Lifelink. It's for 1 green, 1 white, 2 generic. I, I'm so used to saying colorless. Because um, when I started, that's what it was. It was colorless mana. I guess it's now generic mana. Uh, Faith Unbroken. Chant creature you control. When Faith Unbroken enters the battlefield, exile target creature and opponent controls until Faith Unbroken leaves the battlefield. Enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two. So it's like a cast out, um, and you can also enchant your own creature and give it a buff. It's pretty badass, really. Planes, of course. Um, Dusk Watch Recruiter. Um, I mostly put him in here because if he gets flipped, um, here I'll show you guys. Uh, he becomes Crowlin Horde Howler. Uh, most of you guys will probably already know this, anyways. Um, but for those that don't, uh, creature spells you cast cost one less. And at the beginning of each upkeep, if a player casts two or more spells last turn, transform Crowlin Horde Howler. And he goes back to being a uh, Duskwatch recruiter. 
Um, now, mostly I use them for that, but I also use them for his search ability, which is fantastic. Uh, it's one green, two colorless. Search the top three cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest at the bottom of your library in any order. Um, that right there, pay three. Um, to basically cycle your deck is just superb. I love it. Uh, I love sleeves too. I also like sleeves that actually uh, work with me here. <laughs> Sometimes they don't like me and they don't want to work. Um, anyways, uh, Blessed Alliance. One white, one colorless. Escalate 2, pay this cost. For each mode chosen beyond the first, choose one or more. Target player gains four life, untap up to two creatures. Target opponent sex sacrifices an attacking creature. Then we got Hamlet Captain. I think I need a couple more of these, maybe one or, one or two more. Uh, whenever Hamlet Captain attacks or blocks other humans you control, gets plus one, plus one until the end of turn. Really, really good. Borrowed Grace. Escalate, one white, one colorless, or generic. Creatures you control gets plus two, plus zero, and then creature, or creatures you control gets plus two, plus zero, or plus zero, plus two. So essentially you can just pay four and give them plus two, plus two. Um, Crossroads Conse Consecrator, one green, tar tap, target attacking human gets plus one, plus one until the end of turn. There's our other Thraben Inspector, Thraben Shield Bearer. Um, this is just to create tokens, basically. One white, one generic, tap, discard a card. Put a plus one, plus one white human soldier creature token onto the battlefield. Um, always watching a new addition to the deck. Um, I believe I have two on the deck. Non-token creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and have vigilance. Two white, one generic for that gorgeous thing. So Guardian Priest for one generic tap. Tar tap target non-human creature um, that is first part of it um, and the second part <clears throat> here we go let's go inspiring captain and when captain enters the battlefield target creature or creatures you control get plus one plus one until the end of turn veteran cathar for one white three generic target human gains double strike until the end of turn gorgeous Planes, of course, our Thraben Inspector, Hope Against Hope. Um, Enchanted Creature, Enchanted Creature gets plus one, plus one for each creature you control. As long as Enchanted Creature is a human, it gains first strike, or it has first strike. So, we can essentially buff up a super good card. Um, Solitary Hunter, just a 3-4 beater, and then... Whenever he transforms, if nobody plays a casts a spell, he becomes a 5-6. One of the pack. I love the werewolf cards. They're awesome. So, um, I've never had any experience with them. I've never actually been able to build a decent deck. But my human deck's pretty good. Pious Evangel. Whenever Pious Evangel or another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you get to gain a life, and then pay two to sacrifice another permanent, and then you can transform Pious Evangel. And he becomes Wayward Disciple. Whenever Wayward Disciple or another creature you control dies, target opponent loses one life, and you gain a life. We're almost done, I promise. Uh, 60 cards of gorgeousness. This is pretty cheap, too. I think I, the deck came out to like 13 bucks or something like that on deck stats. According to them, anyways. Um, another Steadfast Cathar. Got Pressure Point. Tap Target Creature. Get the draw card. And then the Lady of the Deck. Sagarda Her Heron's Grace. 4 5 flying, you and humans you control have hexproof. She made a definitely a nice addition to the deck. I have yet to test her out though. And then we got Bygone Bishop just for uh, 
investigate purposes. Whenever you cast a creature spell with converted mana cost three or less, investigate. And I'll show you guys here in a second why I kind of went with the investigate theme. Another steadfast Cathar and gorgeous plains. Um, groundskeeper for one green, one generic. Return target basic land card from your graveyard to your hand. Um, as you can tell, that is a gorgeous foil. Then we got Long Road Home, Exile Target Creature. At the beginning of the next end step, return the, that card to the battlefield under its owner's control with a plus one, plus one counter. And then this is why we I went with the Investigate theme, um, Angelic Purge. As an additional cost to cast Angelic Purge, sacrifice a permanent. Now, you don't have to use the uh, clue tokens. You can actually cast uh, sacrifice it for this. Exile target artifact, creature, or enchantment. Um, I believe I have, I think, two in the deck that I run. Um, I don't think I got a third or fourth. Um, up next is collective effort. Escalate, tap an untapped creature you control, and then you can choose one or more. Destroy target creature with power four or greater. Destroy target enchantment, or put a plus one plus one counter on each creature target player controls. Then our other copy of Long Road Home. I'm telling you, man, whoever d designs the lands are fantastic. And they deserve a race. <laughs> Another Sigardian Priest. Puncturing Light, destroy target attacking or blocking creature with three or less. Steadfast Cathar. And that is the main deck of my green-white humans. Um, most of these I actually got through the use of the uh, toolkits. Not this one specifically, of course. Um, you know... Shadows over in Estrad, I bought like, I got, uh, I think, uh, three of those. Um, so onto the sideboard, um, these neck, these two are just filler. I wasn't quite sure what to really use them for. So I put in Cathar's Companion. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, Cathar's Companion gains indestructible until the end of turn. It's a 3-1 for three. Uh, not too bad, I guess, you know. Got two of those. Got another pressure point. Got Cathar Shield. Equip creature gets plus zero, plus three, and has vigilance. Equip for three, and it's a zero cost, too. Look at that. That is ooh, bad focus. Um, that's a pretty wicked cost right there. Um, retreat to Kazandu. Landfall whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control. Choose one. Put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. You gain two life. Or you gain two life. You can choose one of them. Um, I put two into the deck just for if I need it. Um, Gideon's Reproach. Uh, Reproach deals four damage to attacking or, or blocking creature. Clip wings if I need to remove a flyer that I can't get to. I've got two copies of those. Durable Handicraft. Uh, whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay one. If you do, put a plus one, plus one counter on that creature. One green, five generic, sacrifice durable handicraft. Put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. Then there is our second copy of Always Watching. Appetite for the unnatural. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. You gain two life. Got two copies of those. Implement of Ferocity. For one green sacrifice implement, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. Activate this ability only any time you could cast a sorcery. And then when implement of ferocity is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, you get the draw card. I got two of those. Um, cyborg could be a little better. Uh, most of the t most of it's really just what I had. Um, and I was didn't go to, to any Friday night magics or any competitive play so I was just like you know I got the cards why not deck build but it was fun I love it it's, you know and it's pretty cheap to make so if you have the cards and you want something quick just to be able to do stuff in um, 
Definitely. Um, I have the link to deck stats uh, for the deck too. I'll put that in the into the description of it of this video as well. Um, but I think that actually might be my time tonight. Um, so thank you guys for tuning in. If you stayed all the way. Um, but yeah, so got my Boros deck. And then my human deck. So thank you guys for voting uh, for that as well. Um, I think my next video might be a little surprise for you guys. We'll see. But you guys have a great night. Stay safe. Have a fantastic week or weekend. And I'll catch you guys later. I'm so making you all right, so that was the Deck Builders Toolkit. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you are starting Magic and you want to... If you want to know where to start, um, in my opinion, the toolkits are the best way to go for 20 bucks. You get 285 cards, 100 basic lands, um, some Enter the Battlefield tap lands, um, four booster packs of the current, of you know, recent standard sets. And it, you can basically do whatever you want. If you have a buddy or group of friends that are wanting to uh, do it, uh, like start out, you can each get one, build your deck that you think would be good, and just have fun. Um, that's all, After all, that's all this game's about, is just having fun and hanging out with friends and stuff like that. But I have a treat for you guys before I let, uh, end, your, end the video. Um... I'm going to show the, I already took a picture of this on fa on my Facebook and on Twitter, I think on Twitter, but um, uh, definitely on Facebook, but this is, uh, woo, yikes, <laughs> this is Liliana of the Veil from Modern Masters 17. This card right here, I am super stoked, I, this is the first time I've taken it out of my binder. Um, She's a $90 card, so is the most, I, I would honestly say this is probably my priciest card that I've had, that I have right now in my set, so, oh, it pains me that I took it out though, but I'm so happy to have Liliana, she's, a, she's fantastic, one of my favorite Planeswalkers, um, this is all my gorgeous uh, rares and foils, that right there is for another time though. <laughs> That won't have enough time today to go through all my rares and stuff. Oh, but Kami, if you watch this, nightmare, all nightmare, just for you, buddy. But, um, yeah, so that is going to be my time tonight and or today. Thank you guys for coming out. Big shout out to my buddy Game Thrifter on YouTube. Go check his YouTube out. I will uh, give you guys a link to it. He's the one actually recording all this so I can be an idiot and talk about my passion and collection. But thank you guys so much. Vampires, I will see you on Twitch. And I'll give you guys a link to that too. Have a good night.